Hey guys, David. Uh, now we're going to get into setting up the front end, pinup popper. Um, before we start with pinup popper, you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that you have pinup player installed, and that's working, and you can run pup packs and stuff like that. Um, that'll make a transition to pinup player a lot easier because pinup player actually um, is used for pinup popper as far as the display drivers and that. So if pinup player is set up, then your front end popper will work. All right, uh, so let's start. Um, wherever you downloaded it, I have a temp folder here. Uh, so you're going to see something like whatever the exe pinup popper install. Popper, not player. So uh, you always right click, make sure it's unblocked if that, or use 7-zip. I keep on saying that because I know people will forget. Uh, we're just going to go in, and we want to grab all the files from the zip. Okay, again, pinup popper, you want to grab all the files. Now you want to go to where you installed pinup player. You should have done it in some sort of pinup system, would have been the best place to put it. So pinup system, wherever you install the player, you want to just right click, you want to paste, and let it do its thing. Uh, a lot of this stuff is just a lot of default media files, but. Um, Thing. And I, again, I'm going to say uh, if you are using antivirus, you want to make sure you put pinup system as a, a, uh, a exception folder. So because your your antivirus will and can delete a lot of these little small exe utilities that'll screw things up. Okay, so we have all the files there. Uh, the first thing we want to do is see there's a batch file and it's pinup popper register dot bat. Um, now, some of you don't see the dot extensions. Your life will be a lot easier if you do dot extensions. Uh, just hit view up here and there's file name extensions you want to click, but that's just a Windows thing, but let's just, don't worry about that. Um, okay, so pin up popper register dot bat, right? It's good to see extensions. You want to right click, you want to run it as administrator and it's going to thing. It'll, if it doesn't come up with any errors, then your pinup player stuff should come up. Uh, now it's, again, it's going to, because you had your pinup player already installed, you're going to have all these screens already configured. Uh, the only thing is if you have a real DMD, you know, the hardware DMD with the real DMD, you want to make sure, uh, where is it? Okay. So for real DMD, um, you have to make sure this is set to, what is it? 512 by 128. Now you don't need to worry about this if it is you're using LCD because that's already where you put it. But for real DMDs, because we mirror it for popper, um, you want to set it as 512 by 128. You can key it in and you want to put this on your back glass. Okay. So put it somewhere on your back glass screen, DMD 512, 128, and you save. Okay. That's really all. Again, we have this all configured already because of our player is set up, but you want to make sure all the other screens are valid. Okay, uh, let's, where were we? Okay, so now that we have that, um, the popper set up, what we got to do now is go into pinup menu setup. And we're going to go into there. Okay, now you see your version is 1.41. Um, we should uh, run back, really uh, there's lots to do it'd be great if you go through each of these things not actually touching thing but at least uh if you read through the wiki and then go through each of these tabs um it'll give you an idea of just so you before you start messing around with anything so that you get lost somewhere you can remember where you saw things i'm just going to quickly go through a couple of things uh you want to go to your screens theme is one of your first things uh, you want to see in screens, you don't worry about the other stuff, leave those alone. But with these screens, you want to modify, you know, whether or not you have a topper, whether you or not you want to see the DMD. Now, this is only for your popper config. It doesn't affect your pinup player and your packs. Um, and also, you'll notice you'll have to do these things if you um, overwrite a theme. This is where the theme also will change your screens you might have to go back in here and set up now if you're again if you're using a real dmd it's important that you set your dmd to force back okay therefore it'll play behind the back glass and therefore our mirroring function will work so if you're using real dmd the one thing you must do is set this to force back uh, and then you hit save 
and that's that. Um, the, another thing you can, then we want to go into the global config. Um, your default media folder, you, you shouldn't really need to change that. Uh, your startup volume. Um, we're going to go in the displays. You should leave this as is. There really is no need for you to configure this or change this unless you see a post that to do something you want to change. So, and if yours is different than this, you may have issues. So, uh, make sure this is all thing. Uh, again, you're going to go through the game wheel bar. Sometimes when you install a theme, it's going to give you a, a image of what exactly should be set up. Um, if you're using a Pinscape, something like that, your joystick driver should be set to direct X. If you're not using any of that, if you're just using a keyboard driver or something like that, you should set that to no joystick. Um, your fade out, all this stuff is thing. Um, track mode, pretty straightforward. The volume when you're in a track mode, interval, stuff like that. Um, startup script, these are batches that would run when popper started and when it's closed. Now, um, the one thing you're going to do uh, sometimes is you're going to go script. Uh, custom options, if you go look on, look on the wiki, you'll see a bunch of low-level custom options. They're usually like XXX equals 3, and enter YYY equals uh, 1. Uh, you know, um, you, you, you'll, you'll notice all the other different custom options you have. Um, okay, so also, okay, so now really there's two things you need to set up uh, as a f when it comes to DOF and when it comes to real DMD. Um, so if you're going to be using DOF in Popper, you're going to have the modify script system script options. This will have things, but uh, you'll see use DOF. Really, to enable DOF, all you have to do is set that to true and make sure it's all lowercase. Just T-R-U-E lowercase with the apostrophe. That's it. You're done. File save. If you're using, uh, if you have an LCD DMD, you're good. But if you're using a hardware pin 2 DMD, pin DMD, V3, whatever it is, you want to set that to true. And when that's set to true, uh, you want to use the new method where DMD mirror is set to true as well. That allows us to use uh, MP4s and whatnot, not just using PNGs for the DMD. Uh, so you want to set the DMD mirror equals true. That's probably the better way. If you're using web, you'll see that. And you can look at the other things. You really, all this stuff should be left as default unless there's a reason to change it. Uh, but for my testing right now, I'm going to say false, all lowercase for use DMD. And I'm going to set it to false right now because I'm in a virtual machine without this stuff. Uh, you just hit file save, you're going to close it. Uh, now you'll notice when you do themes, some of the nice themes Terry and Tarsicio and others have done, you might have uh, things where you modify uh, theme options. And this is where you can set zones and what you want to show and how you want to show it, change welcome messages. And that's where you would do it there. Okay, uh, this is a cute little thing where you can change how the back, uh, how the system setup works. You can play with it and it doesn't really do much, but I'll just leave it as that for now. Okay, um, now there's lots to it to do now. Um, what we do now is um, emulators. So those are things like future pinball and whatnot. Uh, you have a little checkbox whether emulator is active. Go through each one of these. Make sure the folders for launch games and media dir is set up correctly. Um, there are defaults shouldn't really need to be changed. But launch exe and games folders and the game extensions, we have a few set up for you. Um, so let's look. If you look at uh, Visual Pinball, um, if you have it normally, like the all-in-one, you really don't have to change anything. But you may you know, might have to change the D drive or use uh, this to specify where the VPX is located. Um, I'll just leave it as that. Uh, VPX, media dir, all that. Um, keep displays open. You'll figure that out. I don't want to go through all in the details, but normally all displays are hidden when you launch a uh, virtual. But say you want to keep your topper on. Uh, if you highlight over, it'll tell you what to do. But if you want to leave your topper on and even your DMD, you set that here. Um, you'll notice you'll get some things when it comes to launch scripts, launch scripts before and after. You don't need to change any of these unless you notice that there's some reason to. But all that stuff, you'll, you'll learn from the wiki what all this stuff means. So uh, the important part is emulator active and system is important. I think by default, just uh, FX, uh, sorry, Visual Pinball X is active. You can add legacy. You'll notice on the wiki there's an easy way to add legacy for VP9 and stuff like that. That's emulator. Uh, controller setup. 
this is easy to do when you're on the cab, you know. So you can go wizard set all, and uh, it'll are you sure? And it'll ask you what you want to what you want to do. You just hit the key. It'll go to the next one. If you don't have or have a game next or game prior type of thing, you just skip it, right? And simple, easy joystick or a key. Um, uh, now remember cancel is different than skip or clear uh, clear will actually clear it if you set it and you want to clear it so it doesn't work anymore for that particular function the only thing I would suggest here as a tip is see system menu um, normally you have a key for exiting emulator it's really good to get your system menu the one that comes up and says hey reboot restart make it the same as your exit emulator so one button press will exit the emulator you use the same key when you're in browsing and popper and that'll bring up the system menu so that's just a tip that you should do. Uh, again, backup DB should be done a lot. All it does, it copies the current DB into a subfolder, date stamp, so you can try it multiple times. If you're doing a lot of configurations, a lot of importing, worrying about uh, stuff, just back up the DB. It's, it's, it takes nothing. It, the, the DB sizes are very small, usually under a meg for most people. So uh, you can do that. Um, and you know that's it. I mean, yes, there's gonna there's other videos on how to detail add to games and whatnot. But if I I'll give you like a two second games manager, all your games are in here. Um, yeah, you do when you're doing using games, you want to add new games. Uh, select the emulator, and you just scan for new games. Oh, look, I found three games: Bugs Bunny and X Men. So I can click on Bugs Bunny, I can control click hit X Men, and I can add games to the system. Then when I go to all games. Oh, look, they're all here, all right? Bugs Bunny, X-Men, and you can see all this stuff here. Um, lots of stuff you can go through. You can, little little question marks, you wanna see what Keep Display Ons does, what Media Search does, that kind of thing. Um, you'll notice uh, one of the great things of all these databases that can be imported from the spreadsheet. Uh, when you import, it'll come up and tell you which ones. You can import fields, rename. I'm going really fast here because uh, this is not really what this video is about, but it gives you an idea of, of how that works. Um, then you're going to be doing playlist configs, two-minute playlist configs. Now with playlists, uh, just so you know, these are just playlists. They, are, they don't really affect much as far as you can have sub-playlists within playlists. Like if I don't use future pinball, I can right-click and I can remove playlist. All right? doesn't affect or remove anything on files or anything like that. Um, you'll notice... Uh, you can click and drag these and make playlist FX3 on top. If you do click and drag and change the order, you want to right click and go save display order. And that'll save the display order. But in general, you're going to select a, a playlist. You select the game and just add the game to that playlist. Some people may not notice, but if you hit playlist home, you can also have playlists, whether it be from FX, all emulators, you can also have those on your home list. Okay, a lot of times, great advantage of Popper 2 is we have what is called uh, SQL playlists. So they're active. You don't have to add them. You can say, hey, as soon as you add a game into Visual Pinball X, it can, appear, it can automatically appear in Visual Pinball X. Just add is just a sample I put in there. So if you look at settings, you'll notice, depending on, this is select star from games. You don't really need to know this yet, but you'll have people give examples. You just select it as an active SQL list and copy and paste that in there and save. Uh, you, you can see other items you can add for playlists, um, whether or not you want thing. I mean, these are pretty self-explanatory passcode for mature ones and that. So if you want to add a new playlist, you can right click, add new playlist here. You can do one sub really, really flexible. Uh, media manager. Again, one of the big features is media manager. You click and drag items into play fields here. Uh, you, once they're recorded, they'll be green. Um, double clicking on it will bring actually preview uh, but again there's a more detailed video one thing you'll notice a lot is type games and type playlists so you want to set your default playlist media you just do it in here um, you know MAME is arrow looking click on MAME you can right click you can open an explorer that'll bring up the back, back glass where all the media is you know you can double click on it it'll preview the back glass there for you this is kind of slow here, but okay. Um, yeah, so green will t show you. So you'll notice this is for playlists. And what's nice is if you like set your wheel bar for your playlist on your home, that'll be your default home. And you can set it for uh, different playlists, all the media, you know, this default loading videos. You'll This is where you'll click and drag all these into that. 
Okay, I just went through a very quick way of doing it. Exit and launch will then launch thing. Um, I don't know how it's going to run in this virtual machine, but um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it looks kind of crappy because I didn't set up anything, but that's how it works. That'll get you started. Now you can watch other videos where um, you actually add real games, setting and, 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 and playing with them all, and uh, you're rocking. All right, it'll get you started. Okay, also I'm going to um, talk about some common, common things that people have issues when they first try Popper for the first time and don't know what to do. Uh, number one is sometimes uh, you'll launch an emulator, the game launches, but you're hitting the exit emulator key and it doesn't work. Uh, that's because in Windows, if your emulator like VPX or Future Pinball, if it's running as admin, then the front end can't close it because it's running as admin. So what you want to do is you want, in those cases, you want to come here and in your pinup system on your, uh, where is it, pinup menu, I'm going blind today, there it is. Pinup menu setup. You want to right click on that properties and you want to run as admin. Okay. Now only do this on pinup pin menu. Nothing else. Nothing else can run. Don't run system setup. It'll screw things up. Don't run pinup display. Nothing. Just pinup menu is the only thing run as admin. Then you can restart and it'll, and it'll should control that. Uh, other things, if you come up with any sort of errors or not knowing what to do, you want to run popper doctor. Popper doctor It'll give, a, it'll give you some things to troubleshoot DOF, uh, even you can troubleshoot some of your, uh, you know, top or test displays. So it, it'll help, it'll just help you. And this will get expand more with other tests that people have in common. But in general, that'll help you uh, uh, debug issues like that. Um, other items, there's test pack here. Uh, some people don't know, but there's popper auto record. Um, that allows you to record Welcome all to your uh, auto thing. record now. Oh, so on auto record, you select what you want to do with DMD backlash play field, which games, um, normally startup display, the default 20 is too low these days because VPX takes a bit longer. I set it to 40 and leave the exit delay is 10 and, uh, that's it. The last thing I'm going to show, uh, people have, Hey, how do I, if once you set pinup menu as, uh, admin, uh, it can't be put into the window startup easily. So there is a batch file that's here called uh, run startup bat. Uh, if you're going to run other things like DOF links, you can modify this batch file. But for, for now, it just runs uh, popper. Um, you want to hit copy on it. And then here you want to do, um, uh, what do you want to do? You want to run? Uh, uh, sorry, what do I want to do? I want to go to uh, start up. I forget now. Um, no, I want to run. This is silly. I want to run. That's what I want to do. And now I want to do shell colon startup. And that will automatically, when you do shell colon startup, put you in some startup folder and you want to paste shortcut. Not paste. Paste is wrong. It has to be paste shortcut. And that will run popper. You can rename it to run popper here or whatnot. Again, so you're going to run here. You're going to type in run and then shell colon startup. You can see that in the video. Yeah, shell colon startup. And yeah, so I don't know if you could see, oh, you don't see in my bottom here, but in the, in the task bar, you want to type in run, the video is cutting it off, but you get the idea for, uh, running on batch file to start. Um, alrighty, already, already, already. And that's it for now. See ya.